If we look at the revolution in new therapies for hepatitis C, uh, across the board, uh, the overall cure rates are somewhere between 95 and 99 percent. Mm -hmm. David Bernstein, I am the Vice Chairman of Medicine for Clinical Trials and the Director of the Sandra Atlas Bass Liver Center for Northwell Health and a Professor of Medicine at the Zucker School of Medicine at Hofstra Northwell. So we have two things, the inherent response to the treatment, which is overwhelmingly positive, but then how do we get people to be treated? And perhaps more important is the latter. So if you take 2017, for example, only 40% of the prescriptions that were written for hepatitis C actually got filled. So there's a lot of space that's in between those things. And one then has to ask why, right? And so I think before we can even ask why, we have to talk about the pool of patients with hepatitis C in the United States for the moment. Most are yet unidentified. So one of the biggest obstacles to curing everybody is actually finding them. The second is, you know, once they've actually been found, once they've been diagnosed, linking them to someone who can care for them. But there are a lot of obstacles out there for patients who are trying to get medications. Right? What are those you know, obstacles? Biggest one is just their insurance carrier may not cover the therapy, or if they do cover the therapy, the copay may be such that the patient can't actually afford to get the medication. And that's a big problem. There's a wide variety of problems across the country. Most of them state by state come down to whether or not you need to have advanced disease, fibrosis, what are the requirements for sobriety from alcohol and drugs, and who can actually provide the medication? Does it have to be a gastroenterologist, a hepatologist, or an infectious disease doctor? Or can it be somebody else? And we look individually at each state and actually can figure out you know, where the problems are or what needs to be corrected. This is a disease that's curable with anywhere from eight to 16 weeks of therapy depending upon your regimen. Non-toxic, easily tolerated. Curing this disease prevents the development of cirrhosis, decreases the risk of liver cancer, and improves all-cause mortality. And yet, most, or at least half of the people with the disease can't get therapy. So, the concern that I have is patients don't come in for therapy because they think they can't afford it, when in fact, they probably can based upon the insurance that they have, and they need the physicians and their offices to be their advocates to get them what they need and fight for them. The 100% cure rate is the goal. I truly don't think that's obtainable. Um, I think we can probably get to 98 or 99%. Um, again, unless we eliminate all of the factors that people expose themselves to, we'll never completely eliminate it. I think in the next 20 to 40 years, we should be able to dramatically decrease the load of this disease. Um, but what we really need to do is also concentrate on prevention of new disease. The world is trying to catch up and many countries are doing lots of innovative things to get patients their therapies. Generic treatments are available all over the world but not in the developed world. So I think we have to come uh, full circle and try to look at different things we can do to decrease costs. Because at the end of the day, uh, the only way we're going to get rid of this disease and cure everybody is to make therapy easily available and affordable.